All right, in today's video, we're gonna take a deep look at ChatGPT 4.0, OpenAI's newest model that they just released. We're gonna be looking at the comparison versus that versus Turbo and some of their other models, as well as seeing how it actually holds up in actual application. So let's dive right into it. All right, so here is the new chat GPT interface. All right, so um, one thing to note, I don't know if this was recent or not, but now it goes uh, chatgpt.com before it was chat.openai.com forward slash, and then it would just, that's what the website was. I don't know if they just purchased this domain, but now it redirects you to this domain. And they've done some interface, uh, user interface up, uh, updates. So I definitely think it looks a lot more clean. Like, let me just pull up, um this so uh i'm on windows so currently right now they they did in uh roll out a desktop app but currently it's only for mac users so if you're on mac and you open chat gpt it will look something like this saying chat gpt is now available for mac os and you can download the um, desktop app now benefits of downloading the desktop app is that you can screenshot stuff Uploaded to ChatGPT. I now I don't know if all the features are ruled out for the desktop app that they mentioned in their release. Some of these features include like being able to basically show it your screen and talk to it about it as you're working, which looked really really enticing to me. I'm really excited for that. I'm also really excited for the phone updates once they actually start coming out in terms for GPT 4.0, um, when you can actually show the camera around and talk to the world, interact with the world. I'm really excited for that. Um, but yeah, we're still seeing this slowly get rolled out. And yeah, and there's also obviously op some open AI drama kind of going on right now. Ilya just left, etc. I'm going to be talking more about that. I also did a video on that as well as uh, some of the other um, execs or the, some of the other higher ups that resigned and what they had to say. So stay, stay subscribed, stay on the lookout for those videos. But um, uh, we are going to look at um how this actually looks and how this compares so on the top left if you have gpt uh, plus you do, will already have gpt 4.0 enabled um there's this is the newest and most advanced model gpt 4 is the event is an advanced model for complex tasks and then gpt 3.5 is you know we know this model and then temporary chats are now available there's a few other user interface things and uh, additions that they added. I'm not going to go over too in depth of that. Um, now they also, like I, I've said this before and and in other videos, and they mentioned this in the release that GPT 4.0, their most competent, most advanced model, is now going to be available for free users. From what I can see on my end, this hasn't been rolled out yet. Um, maybe some people have got it, but in some areas, but. Um, this will probably be in the next few weeks as well. Um, right now, there is only GPT 3.5 for free users, uh, but also with free users, you don't have to sign in now. Okay, so we can do some tests right here, and then I'm going to go into the platform section and actually do some tests comparative to ChatGPT 4 uh, Turbo. Um, so let's just, you know, um, hey, ChatGPT, I'm trying to test the new model please give me some good questions scenarios to ask the AI so why would I think of actually what question to ask when I can just ask the AI do so um all right so here we got a creative writing question and go with this to start out write me a short story about a time traveler who accidentally ended up in the year well 330 24 and discovers an unexpected future i'm not going to read this whole thing but you can see here it generated this lightning fast Eleanor adjusted the dials on her makeshift time machine, a contraption of gears, wires, and a bit of old-fashioned hope. She had always been fascinated by the idea of time travel, and after years of work, 
finally felt ready to take her tri first trip. Her destination was 1942, a century back from her own time. However, a small error in her calculation sent her spinning wildly out of control. With a blinding flash of light and a stomach-turning lurch, uh, Eleanor found herself tumbling through the corridors of time. When the machine uh, finally ground to a halt, she stumbled out, dizzy, dizzy and disoriented, into a world that was starkly different from her own. She glanced at the display on her wrist, 3024, a thousand years into the future. All right, so pretty decent stuff, and it's pretty long, and it was super fast. So let's take another question here, maybe like this. And let's go over to the platform section. So any time updates roll out with GPT and OpenAI, usually if there is any, usually the, the API gets them first or gets a little bit kind of better stuff sometimes. Um, just more cleaned out without like as much, you know, extra prompting or this or that, or just more features. So, um, it's good to check here too. If you don't, if you're not familiar with the, uh, AI platform dot open or the API, it's platform dot open dot com. All right. You can add credits. All right. It can get more. So like, for example, I used, um, re like a few months ago, I was heavily using turbo, um, for like maybe a one one or two months um like more than we usually use it we were using it heavily and it can stack up the bill to be somewhat expensive right so and it but the thing is gpt4 turbo was such quality output in my opinion and i was like wow this is such a bigger upgrade from gpt4 and now gpt4 oh their newest best model and flagship model is twice as cheap so that's crazy that's really good for developers with software well, just everyone, right? Uh, AI is getting cheaper and it's only going to get cheaper and cheaper over time. Information is becoming, um, you know, abundant, right? It's always been abundant. Now it's even more abundant and not a scarce resource anymore. Um, but anyways, let's see. So we got our, so if we go to playground, we can, yeah, you can go to assistance or any of these things. I like to, well, for this, we're going to chat so we can see GPT-4.0 and we can do a comparison between GPT-4 Turbo so we don't need a instruction. We can just do this question. All right, so we have GPT-4.0 on this side as well as GPT-4 Turbo on this side. We can go ahead and click run and let's watch what generates this response quicker as well as um, what's the higher quality response. So the question is discuss the ethical implications of artificial intelligence in healthcare. What are the potential benefits and risks? All right, let's go hit run. All right, so yeah, it's, it's, I'd say it's, oh, it's definitely more than twice as fast. Like, it is insanely faster. Well, actually, it's pretty much just, okay, it's about 2.5 times. It's a bit, 2 point, uh, whatever, uh, two, 2 times and some change more effective than GP24 Turbo. Let's read some of this. All right, we're not going to read it all. Integrations of artificial AI, uh, artificial AI in, into artificial intelligence AI in healthcare has the potential to significantly transform the industry, offering various benefits while also presenting several ethical challenges. The ethical implications are multifaceted and a nuanced approach is required to navigate them effectively. And then GBT4 Turbo is artificial intelligence AI has increasingly integrated into healthcare, offering transform, uh, a transform, uh, transformative potential for the industry. This, this integration, however, comes with a mix of ethical implications, potential benefits, and risks that need careful consideration. All right. And then improved diagnosis and treatment, increased efficiency, fairly similar points. Um, GBT40 only gives three, and it seems like each point is more in-depth, as you can see. The reason it only gives three is because... Um, each question is, like I said, more in depth. You can see here, both of them took the same amount of tokens. So about the same amount of text has been generated and GPT for turbo has five points, but each one is definitely less, um, descriptive or less, it's a lot uh, shorter, right? I'm not saying that shorter is worse, but I mean, I'd probably off just off re like looking at it, the output quality, I'd probably give the edge to GPT-4.0. Oh. 
even though I haven't completely in-depthly analyzed both uh, outputs here. And then for speed, hands down, GPT-40 is lightning fast. And it's getting kind of crazy now that we're getting to these models that are so much more powerful than what we've ever seen. And they're so much faster. Like, we're really starting to hit that... Um, that growth curve that exponential growth curve so i'm really excited to see where this is going to go um that's really been a comparison between gpt40 and gpt4 Turbo. let me know what your thoughts are on that um and uh yeah that's i just want to keep this video pretty short and sweet for you guys just giving you my first look comparison after using gpt40 for about the last week now since it came out um, and using it every single day, as well as someone that also used GP24 Turbo every single day before. So, seeing the two comparisons, um, I'm I'm definitely way, really excited for GP24 O um, to start getting their other feature, features released. I'm excited for the Windows desktop app once that comes around. And um, yeah, I mean it's getting kind of crazy here. So if you want to stay up to date with AI tutorials, AI news, AI impl impl uh, implementation into your business, into your personal life to become the best version of yourself in all facets, health, wealth, relationships, how to leverage AI and systems and re uh, and all that good stuff, automation. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. I'm gonna be going really, really hard and trying to up up level the content of, or the quality of my content. So if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments down below, guys. I'm doing a video a day for the doing a 30-day challenge right now. So I'm posting a video a day, may even extend the challenge longer. But if you want to stay up to date with all my recent videos, make sure to smash that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, like the video for the algorithm, and comment down below. And other than that, guys, I will see you in the next video. If you oh, also if you want any personalized help or want to speak to myself or my team, just book a call at executivedrive.com forward slash apply speaking to myself and my team and we can see if there's any way whether you want to if you have any questions or if you you know think that there's potential for us to partner up or you know do something together um book a call there and anyways guys i will see you in the next video keep hustling keep grinding and of course accelerate your stride take care